Hello, and welcome to this Space Claim video tutorial on inserting images and videos. We'll see how we can insert planar and wrapped images and videos to both shape a new model and also to enhance your existing models. Whether inserting an image to shape a new model or to enhance your existing model, it's as easy as going to the Insert group in the Design tab and click File. From the drop-down menu, select Image Files. Here we can see the different type, bitmap, GIF, JPEG, PNG, or TIFF, and for video files, AVI and WMV. Simply select your image, and when creating a new model in sketch mode, you can place the image right on the sketch. Once placed, we can use the select tool and reposition it simply by dragging around the screen. To resize, simply drag one of the blue handles in the corners or on the side. You can hold the shift key to lock the aspect ratio while dragging. To rotate the image, simply drag the green handle or query select over one of the blue handles to convert it into a green handle to rotate. To change the rotation center, simply drag the red handle to another place on the screen. To flip the image, simply grab one of the blue handles and drag it to the other side. If we want to go ahead and use this image to create a concept, we could switch to a plan view and use our sketch tools to sketch around the outline of the image. We can now switch to 3D and use our pull tool to take this new surface and pull it into a solid object. Please see the video tutorial Modeling with Images available on our webpage for further details on this process. If we select the image, we can see the Properties panel on the left. With the Advanced tab, we can change the transparency color. Simply click the Select New Color tool and click on the image to select the transparent color. We can zoom in with the slider and now pan around. We could select multiple colors like different shades of white or even a shade of blue. We could select any of these colors from the drop down menu and either remove one of them or remove them all. We can lock the aspect ratio so we don't have to hold the shift key while dragging one of the blue handles. We can also lock the location, size, or location and size of the image. And we could also change the transparency from 0 to 100%. If we right click on the image, we have the options to replace the image with a different file or change the image location. Here we can select any of the other faces, but we also have the option instead of placing a planar image to place a wrapped image. Notice when I hover over any of these faces, the image becomes constrained to the face that we're wrapping it on. The same controls apply. I can select and drag the image around to position it, or drag one of the blue handles to change the size, or query select to a green handle to rotate the image around. Wrapped images have the same properties in the panel in terms of changing the transparent color, locking the aspect ratio, locking the location and size, or changing the transparency. Now let's take a look at adding an image to an already existing design. Here if we bring in a logo, I can zoom the model in and out to the logo by holding the control key and the middle mouse button to zoom. Or if I hold the control key and alt and the middle mouse button, I can resize the image. Here I'm placing it in a planar orientation, or I can select the wrapped orientation and wrap it directly to a face on the model. Here I'll hold the control and the alt key to scale the image to that face. 
Here we can see how the image will adjust if we pull on the face that the image is wrapped to or the edges. See how the image automatically adjusts its size to this change of size of the face. This works for planar faces as well as curved faces. We can still select the image, drag it around, change its size, even rotate it. Bringing in a video file is just as easy as an image. Select video files from the drop down menu and now we can zoom in our view or scale our video. And again we can place it on a plane or wrap it to a face. We can move, scale, and rotate a video just like an image. It also has advanced properties. We can right click to replace or change the image location and we can also set the video to loop or play while zooming in and out of the model, even spinning it around. We can even move the geometry the video is wrapped to, either by translating it or rotating it as the video plays. For additional questions regarding inserting an image or file, hover your cursor over the Insert File button, press F1 for more help, and it will bring you to the Help page for inserting other files. Here you will find links for inserting an image or a video. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on inserting images and videos. I hope you've learned a little bit about inserting planar and wrapped images and videos, adjusting the size and position, and the custom properties.